Jefferson Airplane Day here today on Smell the Vinyl, and they're one of my top five favorite groups of all time. I saw them in 1970 in Toronto, hitchhiked from uh, Kingston, Ontario, 150 miles away, and it was worth every second of it. And today I'm going to rank their seven studio albums. Not, I'm not going to include the album they did in the 80s where they got back together briefly and it was just not worth it. So number seven is uh, Jefferson Airplane Takes Off and uh, this is basically a folk rock album. You can tell by the picture on the back. Most of them were uh, folk musicians. Dre Slick isn't on this album yet. And uh, Marty Ballin is basically the main songwriter here with the help of other band members and they do a couple couple, couple, couple of uh, cover versions, one of Tobacco Road. Okay, not an album I come back to very often. Number seven. Number six is Long John Silver, and this is their last studio album. And by this time, the group was starting to go into their uh, solo career, so it started to creep into the uh, songs they put on the album. There's five songs here that I would consider Jefferson Airplane songs, and the other five solo albums by Hot Tuna and Paul Cantner and Grace Slick. Long John Silver, great song. Airy, Twilight Double Leader, Milk Trang, and Eat Starch Mum. I consider those all airplane albums. The other four songs on here, I would consider solo albums or songs. So uh, this came as a cigar box originally. I uh, made the cigar box when the album came out, and I couldn't find it anywhere. So this is a reissue, of course. So I got two box, two things of cigars. I mean, lots of smoking there. So, uh, number five, I got Bark, that it came in a paper bag, J.A., I still have the paper bag, and there's a really nice fish head on the cover, just, mm, you just want to have a, a bite of fish there, it even has real teeth, look at that, real teeth on that fish. So, uh, this album has some great songs on it, but it also has two crappy songs on it, it's got Never Argue With a German If You're Tired, blah, 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 it goes on and on. It's a Grace Slick song. I don't know where her head was at when she did that song. And then Thunk was uh, written by the uh, drummer at this time who came into the band at this time, Joey Covington. And I, I don't know. I couldn't think of anything better. Well, I thunk it and thunk it. It's a stupid song. It doesn't make any sense on this album. But it has some great songs. When the Earth Moves Again, It Feels So Good. Crazy Miranda Lives on Propaganda. That's a great song. Pretty As You Feel was a single. Great song. And then it's got Law Man, Rock and Roll Island. So this is a good album, but it has those two songs on it that are just, I don't like them at all. So it ranks a little lower. Number four, I got uh, Surrealistic Pillow. I think they were still uh, going from folk to rock. They were graduating into more of rock with, uh, with uh, Somebody to Love. And the weirdness was creeping in with uh, White Rabbit. But this is a classic album. There's some beautiful ballads on here. There's uh, Today and Coming Back to Me. They're both, those songs still get me when I hear them. Embryonic Journey, Yorma Kaukinen did that acoustic. It's just a beautiful acoustic uh, song. And uh, lots of folk sort of rock on here. But the rock is creeping into this album. So number three... I have volunteers and when I saw them in 1970 they were doing basically this album and of course other some of their other hits of course and uh, this is a great album I mean I love this album too volunteers of America and it's got the peanut butter and jam we call it in Canada we call it peanut butter and jam I know in the US they call it Peter peanut butter and jelly and it does look more like jelly but uh, great songs on here Good Shepherd, I like that, that Yorma, he does a great, it's a traditional song, but he does a great job. We Can Be Together, classic, uh, Bought Myself a Farm, Way Out in the Country, Hey Frederick, lots of guitar on there, multiple guitar, lead guitar things going on, and Wooden Ships is on here, and when I saw them, Grace Slick was on one side of the stage, and Marty Ballon was on the other side, and they were singing back and forth from, from that song, and uh, great memories of that, and uh, uh, Eskimo Blue Day, not a nice long jammy kind of song, song for all seasons, eh, it's okay. So uh, this is coming in at number three, great album still. Number two, Crown of Creation, 
They uh, were sort of going back and forth from songwriting. This is their third or uh, fourth album. And uh, the album before this is my favorite. It's more psychedelic. But this is, uh, slide one is really songwriting oriented. It's got lather on it and uh, Triad, which was written by David Crosby, of course. And uh, I love this album. I listen to this album a lot. Side 2 picks up with If You Feel Like China Breaking, If You Feel Like Laughing, Crown of Creation, Crazy Heart, oh, crazy, Greasy Heart, sorry, and The House at Ponyo Corners. So we're getting into a little bit of the psychedelia here, songwriting, and not really folk music, but more songwriting oriented, and I do love this album. So number one comes in with uh, After Bathing at Baxter's. And I heard this album on uh, local radio at the time in Kingston, Ontario, CKLC. And at night at 10 o'clock, they would play full albums. And I heard this on there and I, and I just, I got to have that. And uh, this is their more psychedelic phase after a surrealistic pillow. You got, it uh, starts off with feedback and it, it sort of never lets up. It's just, there's a lot of moods going on here and a lot of guitar. The bass, Jack Cassidy's bass is starting to thump in there and you can hear the the uh, uniqueness of his bass style and the guitar playing of Yorma. I mean, to me, my favorite by far after bathing at Baxter. So uh, that's just a little quick little video, ranking video on Jefferson Airplane. So long. Fly Jefferson Airplane, get you there on time.